that in Italy we use uh, vowels much more than here. In Italy, you, you, can, you, you can use just vowels. You can express yourself just with wow, well, vowels uh, if you want to communicate with people. You can say, hey, which means, uh, hey. <laughs> or if you want to say hello to someone, like, uh, hello, how are you? You just say, oh. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not joking, I'm not joking. Or you can say, way, which means I'm very happy to be alive in this wonderful day. <laughs> Yeah, my life sucks. I have a little wine and some tipsy. <laughs> Just choose vowels in my country, you will be fine. Here is much of, it's a, a more consonants. So there are some very hard words to, to pronounce to me, like, uh, for example, literature. Literature took me so long to say literature. Is it good? Do you understand what I said? Literature. <laughs> it's not good. You're not good enough. <laughs> Don't make fun of my literature. <laughs> literature. At the beginning, I, I, I thought there was a, like a Spanish dance, like literature. I'm not doing dancing. That's why I needed a, a, a course. <laughs> Can you imagine my 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 surprise when I went to a literature course <laughs> with leggings on? <laughs> Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Big hat. Raining Hemingway. Hey! That word is architecture. Architecture for me is very good. Don't laugh! I'm trying so hard three years to say architecture. It's very dangerous. Because it's all about the architecture. A friend of mine died trying to say architecture. He was a very good friend. <laughs> and he died in a very weird way. <laughs> Another word that I don't understand is webmaster. You know webmaster? You know webmaster? The webmaster. I don't understand the meaning of the word. The webmaster, you know the guy who is... You know, because it, I expect the master. Master is the master of the universe for me. You know, the master. And so the master is like the, the lord of the web. Like the, the king of the internet. Nine times out of ten, it's just a, a lonely guy. A very nerd guy, alone, and still on the second life. <laughs> very insecure. And once a week he updates, uh, like the, the website of a gym. <laughs> the branding, uh, Webmaster for me is a powerful word. Like webmaster for me is just a, like a monster with big horns going to a text store like a <laughs> crowds. <laughs> run, run! There is a webmaster. Run! Run! <laughs> Vowels in the south of Europe, uh, here comes a little consonant. I think that, this is my theory. Vowels in Italy, consonant and vowels here, Iceland, just consonants. <laughs> I've never been to Iceland, they don't use vowels. Because it's too, it's, it's too cold. <laughs> <laughs> Even the Carolams uh, are different. In, in Italy the Carolams is a wee 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 wee. In Iceland, it's like, you know, oh, they are stealing my car, they are stealing my car. I will call the police. It's a very long number. Just one. Papa? Which means police. And so on. But. I notice that poetry don't give a shit about the language. Poetry, poetry can be good no matter how ugly is your language. 
It can work wherever you are. Like even if you are a, a, a very bad language, you can have poets. It's so good. You know, for any Italian is good. I'm very proud of my language. Because in Italian is uh, like, oh, guarda quel segnale laggiù. Sembra una uscita di sicurezza, invece è un semplicemente una lampada verde con un uomo che corre. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Just, it's just English. <laughs> just talking about that lamp. But the Italians are, are lucky because we have this one that it's ready for poets, you know? What about like these north, northern places with these ugly languages? Like, <laughs> how can you express? Even there, poetry works. It was like a guy in love with a woman and was like, <laughs> 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 a very bad impression of a woman. I don't want to be offensive, but... Oh. This is how you sound like to me. I am sorry. You know how men sound like to me? Oh, oh. The same, I have a problem. Um... Uh, Tinder. Uh, I mean, no, because I remember why I'm here. Uh, I need a woman, basically. I'm joking, I'm joking. I would say, I'd say, this is what I'd say. Like, I don't understand Tinder because some, some, uh, on Tinder there are some, some women describing themselves like sapiosexual. This is a, a word they don't understand. You know what this means? Sapiosexual, sapiosexual. Uh, intelligence better than. Please, please tell everybody. In intelligence better than beauty. Is that right? I don't understand. <laughs> she's, she's right. Okay. Basically, I discovered that it's like uh, sapiens and sexual. So, attracted by clever people. You know, it took me so long to understand this. <laughs> Sapiens is like, oh, sexual is like, ah. <laughs> yeah. And so it took me so long because I saw, who would show off the attraction for a stupid guy? <laughs> who would say, you know, Mario, the guy who uses uh, mayonnaise instead of shampoo? <laughs> I would shag him. He's <laughs> not the best chef in the world. <laughs> Carbonara tastes this like conditioner, but I want babies from you. And another thing, the last thing I don't understand on Tinder is that everyone says that no one nice stands. No one, no hookah. Because uh, they say, like, it, I don't want to miss someone. And I understand because men are creepy, you're totally right. I'm just saying, I'm sure that is a bell. <laughs> It was perfectly a bird. Okay, I would say this. I don't worry about it. I have a problem. <laughs> no one is saying this because you say, I'm sure that meeting a guy or meeting a person and having sex and then he disappears from your life is the worst case scenario. I don't swear about that. <laughs> because I'm not on Tinder to, for sex. I'm looking for a woman to share my depression with. <laughs> talk for hours. I want to destroy your night. I want to talk about my mother and my ex-girlfriend. I want to talk about the fact that I feel that I'm the best comedian in the world, but audiences are not ready. It's the two hours of me talking about all this shit and complaining about everything. You will ask for a one-night stand. You will say, Francesco, I will give you a wonky wonky right here, right now. This fucking Nando's, <laughs> if you stop talking about your miserable childhood. So, the one I stand is not the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario is me. My name is Francesco. 